Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. So today let's see how we can import any installation package to Kaspersky Security Center. So if you see over here in my operations, I have repositories and I have Kaspersky applications. If I click on Kaspersky applications, uh, I can see what are the current application, uh, current version of applications available over here, which I can download directly from the uh, cloud as well. Or on the other side, what I can do if I have already downloaded one, I can just simply use them uh, there. I can use them. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to repositories. You can see my installation packages, which are available over here. Currently, you can see that I only have these three packages. I don't have any application servers or anything. To add that package, I have possibility to create an installation package for a Kaspersky application, create an installation package from a file, or uh, create an application from Kaspersky database to create an installation package. If I select this one and click next, it will check in the database if there are any packages available. If I go back, if I say create from a file, it will take me through that wizard. If I say create installation package for a Kaspersky application, click on next. Then it brings me to the page where I can uh, select the application which I want to create the package for. So I can simply go over here. I can choose which uh, package I want over here or I can apply the filter and I can say I'm looking for for example type distribution package web plugin okay okay and when I apply this you can see I have packages available over here furthermore I can go over here and I can select the sure, secure I can say language and in language I can say for example English and I can apply this now it will filter all the packages to English level itself now if you see over here, I have strong encryption, I have light encryption, I have uh, Windows strong encryption for version 12.11. If I click on this particular package, I can download and create the installation package directly from here. This is one way. This is automated way, easiest way to do it. Otherwise, what I can do, I have already downloaded the package for Kaspersky, which is an old school way old way of doing it so i can create an folder over here kes kes 12.2 okay now i can double click on this package this is the old way of doing it right uh, otherwise as i said you can simply come over here, add a package from the Kaspersky applications filter search for example server and apply and if you see over here I've got the server in English. I can click on this, download and create installation package. And you see now it is downloading my 
installation package directly from Kaspersky Security Center, uh, from Kaspersky um, basically uh, cloud server. So directly downloading. Of course, the requirement is you should have internet uh, connectivity. So if I go back over here, this is my unpacking endpoint security wizard where I am going to use the pre-downloaded package to unpack it. By the way, even if I cancel this from here, uh, it will continue downloading this package for me uh, at the back end. So we don't need to be on this page. Uh, we can just move out of this page and it will keep on getting that package for me. And you will be able to see the progress over here about the <clears throat> status of that package which I'm trying to download over here and whatever is downloaded that will be shown over here first so currently if you see i don't have anything related to server or endpoint security uh, endpoint security i'm basically extracting over here and as you can see that it is almost uh, trying to extract everything what is there inside that package and once this is extracted i will have all my files over here itself I, I will use this kes underscore win dot kud to create the installation package. Let it finish and I'll show you this method also. One, I'm downloading directly from internet, which you can see it's still going on. Of course, based on the size of the package, it takes time. If you have internet, it will download and keep it ready for you. Other one is manually importing it. So let's wait for this extraction to complete. And I'll show you how you can import this into Kaspersky Security Center. But this is also good when you do not have direct internet connection also sometimes. So you can make use of this method also. So uh, the package which we were downloading, you see now it is 85% uh, done. Download is completed. You, uh, now it's stating you must accept the terms of license agreement. I can show and user license agreement. I'll click on terms, accept them. And you see now it's downloading. And now download is completed. If you close over here, you can see that this package is not in progress anymore. And if you see over here, now I have my Kaspersky Security Center Windows Server package available. Okay, and I can also check what plugins do I have uh, for that. I can go to console and I can check the web plugins which are uh, there. You can see I have Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows. I have a uh, Kaspersky Endpoint agent sandbox windows server and everything is already installed for me all over here okay now this is using the web uh, download if you have already downloaded the package you need to extract this of course to extract it you will double click on it and you will provide the path where you want to extract it, it takes a little time it is already extracted over here now what you will do you will launch your Kaspersky Security Center console from here. And in that you have under advanced, you have remote installation and you can see installation packages. Currently I have four packages which you can see in the browser also. Now I can create a installation package. And you see create an installation package for Kaspersky application, create an installation package for the specified executable. Uh, then uh, select an application from Kaspersky database to create an application package, create an installation package with the operating system image and so on. For me, I'm going with this and I will name it as Kaspersky Endpoint Security 12.2. I'm going to click on next. Now over here, I need to browse to the file 
and I'll come over here you see I have only the application uh, which I can do is then KUD or KPD so I have to select this click open and then simply I have possibility to copy updates to repository to installation package but I'm not going to do that I'm going to click on next accept the agreements and click on next it is uploading package file to the administration server if you see and if you see when I finish it Kaspersky endpoint security package is already created over here and if I go to my browser you can see this package is also created now it's up to me how I can push it that maybe we'll discuss in the later tutorials thank you so much for watching this walkthrough please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you were looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.